Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Saab's live equipment demonstration where our focus is on full spectrum warfare and the provision of a joint combined arms, fully integrated warfighting capability. To paint a picture for you, following the recent skirmishes by the Swedish naval forces and the Swedish Coast Guard, which led to the recent sinking of an Exland vessel last week off the coast of Falsterborg, Exland continues its annexing of the Solversborg, Simrishamn region of northern Skåne. Its clear and aggressive posture is of grave concern to Swedish sovereignty and Sweden has mobilised all of its operational units and national protection forces. Sorties by the Swedish Air Forces have had some success against the Exeland advance and Sweden is beginning to win the air war. The Swedish Mechanised Infantry Division has successfully advanced through southern and central Skåne to meet the aggressors from Exeland in the region of Degerberg and Schivik. 11 Mechanised Brigade is leading the divisional advance and is probing the enemy's front line to gather intelligence, establish enemy dispositions and gain the upper hand. Participating in our demonstration this morning, we have a four-man recce group from the local regiment. The patrol is equipped with its normal suite of close reconnaissance equipment, including a dismounted battle management system, laser target designator and a laser rangefinder. The recce group is supported by Saab's vertical takeoff and landing unmanned aerial vehicle Skeldar, which is carrying a payload including electro-optical and IR sensors. Also supporting the recce group is an armoured personnel carrier from Patria. Patria AMV is the undisputed market leader of modern armoured wheeled 8x8s. Patria today is equipped with Saab's track fire remote weapon system. This is a fully stabilised weapon system adaptable for use on all types of military platforms and prepared for a wide range of weapons and sensors. Finally, we have a simulated tactical operations centre, or TOC, which is equipped with Saab's Nine Land Battle Management System. If you look to your front, you will see a four-man reconnaissance patrol from the Brigade Recce Force of 11 Mechanised Brigade. The patrol is supported by Skeldar UAV system. The patrol is moving along its patrol route and is supported by Skeldar, which is enhancing the patrol's situational awareness and providing a means of early warning to the tactical commander. A tactical bound behind the patrol, you will see Skeldar providing instant and enhanced situational awareness to all ground and headquarters call signs. The patrol will now identify the enemy positions by acquiring its position with its laser rangefinder integrated into the battle management system and request assistance to neutralize the threat. The patrol commander is able to send his target position directly and instantly via the Nine Land Battle Management System to his higher command for their immediate action. Skeldar is commanded to support target acquisition and this enables the TOC to make full target identification and classification. What you see on the large screen is Nine Land BMS being used by the TOC to issue orders to Patria and the dismounted patrol. Patriot vehicles fitted with Saab's track fire remote weapon station have been ordered forward to extract the troops. And here, just in the nick of time, is a patrol's Patriot AMV, guided to the right location by their Nine Land Battle Management System. Patriot AMV provides outstanding mobility, protection, firepower, and interoperability. Track fire today is armed with a 40mm automatic grenade launcher and a 7.62 general purpose machine gun. While track fire is suppressing the enemy, Skeldar continues to actively search the threat area for depth positions. The enemy has now been suppressed and the patrol may now be extracted. The wrecking team is successfully extracted and the enemy is left with a very bloody nose while it awaits the commander's next move. 